What's up guys, so I was able to get my hands on the brand new Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio. NVIDIA, who is the sponsor of this video, sent this out for me to test out and also put it through my creative workflow. I've always been a fan of Microsoft Surface line of products. In fact, I still own the original Microsoft Surface tablet that I bought nine years ago. And I've done many videos on this tablet and even some of its predecessors here on the channel. So I was actually very happy when NVIDIA sent this over because I've always been a fan of these two-in-one hybrid setups and this new Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio has really changed the way I want to create moving forward. Now if you're not familiar with the design, it's actually very slick. There's three different modes that you're able to transition to in a very seamless manner. The first mode is your traditional laptop and this is the mode that most people will use to write scripts, send out emails, browse the web. In my case, I primarily use this for video editing. This is the mode that I'm most comfortable and familiar with. Now the model that I received features an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti GPU, which is ideal for creative professionals. And NVIDIA works with with creative app partners like Adobe to optimize their hardware to accelerate graphics performance. Now in my testing, it was able to handle any 4K video projects that I threw at it without any problems. And even when I loaded a project that had mixed frame rates and codecs, including 6K video, it played back just fine without any hiccups. This is primarily due to the NVIDIA Studio drivers, which are designed so applications like Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, take full advantage of the GPU performance so that your editing experience is much faster. Now this means a big boost in accelerated graphic effects like Lumetri for color grading, which results in not only better timeline playback, but also much quicker export times. I've actually done a dedicated video on how NVIDIA's NVEC, which is their encoder and decoder works in Adobe Premiere. If you're interested in watching it, I'll leave it linked down below. Now the next way you can use Surface Laptop Studio is what Microsoft calls stage mode. And this is where you pull the display forward so that it sits above the touchpad giving you an angled view to work. Now this mode is ideal for video meetings, watching online content, or using the touch screen to get things done. I actually found myself using this mode quite often, especially when you pair it with the Surface Slim Pen 2, which by the way, it's sold separately. But when editing photos, having the display propped up in an angle just made it much easier to make changes. The new Surface Slim Pen 2 is very satisfying to use and it worked extremely well with all of the applications that I tested it on. Even when video editing, certain tasks just felt faster than using a mouse. Now I know that Microsoft and Adobe work together to create a unique experience using the pen. Like for example, they have this thing called tactical feedback. And this is where, like for example, if you're video editing and let's say you move one of the video clips and it collides together using that magnetic timeline, like you feel that in the pen, it's actually really neat. And I gotta say, I honestly really like it. Now the next way you can use Surface Laptop Studio is what Microsoft calls studio mode. Though I like to call it tablet mode because it's a lot more portable in the form factor of a tablet. The idea behind this I feel is kind of like a sketch pad where you have your pen and paper and you can draw. You can also take advantage of this mode using other applications. Like for example, I used it in Lightroom and found that the experience was actually very pleasant. Now I've been using the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio for a whole week and I really like having this dynamic workflow. Like for example, if I'm video editing, I'm primarily going to use it in this laptop configuration. But let's say I need to use a pen tool. The pen tool is actually much easier to use with a pen, hence the name, especially if you're doing a mask, right? So if I go into stage mode, Adobe Premiere will dynamically change the user interface to take advantage of this mode. And I can just grab my pen, which is magnetically held underneath here. I can use the pen tool, create my mask, and then I can just put the pen back underneath here, which by the way, it charges. Go back into laptop mode, and finish my edit. Being able to do something as simple as this makes the editing experience much more pleasing. And just because you have different modes doesn't mean that you're forced to use it that way. It's just another way to get your work done that makes it more efficient. I'll give you another example. If I'm editing photos using the Surface Slim Pen tool, not only is it pressure sensitive, if I rotate it to the backside, 
This is going to act like an eraser. I find this more intuitive than using a mouse. This is what makes the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio different from having just a powerful laptop or even a tablet. It was designed in a way where you can transition from one mode to another feeling very natural without breaking your flow. I feel like this is one of those products where hardware and software work seamlessly well together to create a unique user experience. Not to mention, it's leveraging that power from the NVIDIA GPU that works excellent in the Adobe suite. So in the week that I've used the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio, I've come to appreciate the different modes and what each of them has to offer. Now, I know this is gonna sound cheesy, but how you work can inspire you to create something completely different. Like you're not gonna use a screwdriver to hammer a nail in, though you can, but if you have a hammer, your work will be completely different and it'll inspire you to do other things. Like I now understand what Microsoft was trying to do with the Surface Studio, the larger one, the all-in one. Like, I kind of want one now because this has really changed the way I want to create moving forward. Now, the new Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio comes in different configurations. If you're doing creative work like I am, I highly recommend you get the model that comes with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti GPU. Having better graphics performance on apps like Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, especially at higher resolutions, and also being able to watch your clip and make edits in real time, is worth it in my opinion. So if you guys are interested in learning more about the Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. And if you guys have any questions, leave me a comment down below. My name is Armando. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.